A sold out Rico Coliseum for game four of the Calder Cup Finals. Marlies in do or die mode versus the Norfolk Admirals. Take a look at this afternoon starting goaltenders. Dustin Dekarski in goal for the Admirals. While his team has won nine straight, he has rattled off seven wins in a row, giving up only five goals against during that time. A 1.49 goals against average, 9.44 save percentage. For Ben Scrivens, he is 11 and 5 in the postseason. 1.73 goals against average, 9.41 save percentage. Conacher starts the effort to come back up with it. It is Ponick. Right wing side around. Geispers to the net. Ponick bounces it off. A defenseman. They score. Richard Ponick opens game four of the finals with a bank behind Scrivens in the Admirals leave. 1-0. Stopping short is Johnson. He'll swing it over cross ice. Hustling Barbario alone in front. Pallad and a piece of by Scrivens as he makes a fantastic save on Pallad alone. Now Ponick swings it back to Koska over to Cote. Penalty over and now it's tipped wide of the goal as Scrivens is upended and again Ben Scrivens is wondering how much longer this will go before penalties call. Sigamanis, flash off, one timer, that's blocked off the volley. Colburn the rebound, 22 seconds left in the first. Extended Marley's power play, they want a tie. Colburn, back door, they score! Mike Sigamanis has the Marley's on the board, a power play goal, ties game four. Well, finally the Toronto Marley's get the play that they want and open things up here on that five on three from the top, and it goes down low to uh, Joel Colburn across through the crease area and an excellent job by Mike Zygamanis being open for the shot as he beats the goaltender Dustin Tokarski with a short side shot and the Marlies get on the board with a power play tally. Johnson in the corner. Near side, cycle there for Conacher. Puck taken away by Geispers. Battling in with it. Johnson knocked down in front, draws a penalty, but they score on the shot from Koska. Well, and the Etobicoke native Pretty excited fans. You can hear a lot of Norfolk people as they got some Toronto area kids. And after being the hero in game number three, he restores the lead here for the Norfolk Admirals in period number two. But the Toronto Marlies guilty of icing the puck. The fourth line against the top line here for Norfolk. And they work the puck down low. And it's the play by Palat. He gets it up to the point. And a great one-time shot by Koska as he beats the screen goaltender Ben Scrivens for Toronto. Turnover for the Marlies. It'll turn to Dupuy with a shot. Shoulder save. Rebound. Stop to Karski. A third chance was there. Deschamps couldn't get his stick on it. Now the other way. Acton steals. Has Orr. Acton to the net. Wrap around. Orr. Out in front. Had the puck slide past him. Now Gardner. Jammed at the blue line. Keeps it alive. What a play. Tipped in front. to Karski without a stick. Makes a save then. And it is Orr who is leveled in front of the goal. to Karski. Now up ice again. It'll be Lashoff who finds it in his own zone. Tip for some room for Acton. Splits it. He acted alone. Fires off of the shoulder of Tukarski. And that one stays out. Will Acton, what a chance. Killorn wide open is Johnson, but Scrivens is there as he comes cross crease. But now Johnson scores. A near impossible angle for Tyler Johnson, but he puts Norfolk up 3-1. Well, Ben Scrivens would love to have this one back after making a 10 bell save You got to give credit to Tyler Johnson as a goal scorer knows that when the goaltender pulls himself off the post He leaves out a little bit of an opening and a nice pass across and Scrivens goes from his right to his left And he makes the initial save But Johnson banks it off the backside of the goaltender by him for the third goal of the game here. The Marlies have outscored their opponents in the postseason 21-10 in this third period. They need two goals to at least tie, but there's the problem, Bob. They face a five-on-three penalty to start. At center, Barbario. Right wing side and in, Conacher. Pressured by Acton, moves to Barbario. Waits, dishes. Johnson tries to pick the five hole cannot Scrivens is save comes out far side Koska shoots and scores second of the game for Koska a power play goal now puts Norfolk up 4-1 in game four Dupuy as Scrivens goes to the bench again so not even on a power play Scrivens is out Dupuy hammers in six on five the Marlies trying to generate some late offense down by three with 730 to go this will be sprung free for Johnson. Johnson with an empty goal will find it. 
fourth point of game four for Tyler Johnson and it is now 5-1 Norfolk in game four with a 3-0 series lead. Slapper towards the goal, blocked there by Fraser. Costco let it go, picking it up with Smith. Now a wrist shot, stop, rebound, they score. Labrie will put a six on the board for the Admirals. And the Marlies just can't believe it. Ten seconds left. The Admirals know it. They're jumping on the bench and will count it down as a group. The Marlies will send it down, and the Admirals are Calder Cup champions.